So what we're going to do now is take a look at the Desmos software that I've spoken about in class. The Desmos software allows us to plot graphs. And what I'm going to do with this Desmos software is to do exactly that. I'm going to take the function we had earlier on and see what it looks like. So this is the function that we found the area under the curve of in our previous video. That's what it actually looks like when it's plotted. We're going to use the Desmos software to show what it is we're doing when we find the area under a curve, under a function. So there is the function itself. What we're going to do is carry out a differentiation from that, sorry, integration from that particular piece. That formula there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to work out the area between two values, a and b, of the function, which we've already described, dx. The software allows us to input our own values of a and b, or to use something called a cursor. I'm just going to click on that. And cursor or slider allows us to change the value of a and B up and down is going to change the value of the function. Up here, this is the actual output of the area of that function between A, the lower limit, and B, the upper limit. I'm going to type in minus 1, because that's our lower limit, and 2, because that's our upper limit. You can see straight away there, the software agrees with me. The answer is two and a quarter. What we're going to do with this software, though, is actually illustrate the place where the actual antiderivative is measuring the area of. Sounds a bit strange. Let me explain. Go back to my sheet here. I'm going to add some shading to the chart, there you go. That shading does what it says. It selects all of the values of y, which are above zero, which are below the value of the function. Notice that it hasn't reached two yet, which is over here, not reached two yet. Okay, so we're going to add another to that, this piece here, type that into there, or we paste it in. What we get is the other part of the shading. I'm just going to change the color of that shading back to the same one. Okay, so there you go. That is the area we have asked our integral up here to find the area of starts at minus one here and goes up to two. The important thing to notice is that this is a positive area of the line. This is actually a negative area. It's below the line. And this is Part of what the function is actually doing. It's going to add up the total, and the total is going to be 2.25. This positive area up here subtracted from this area here, or the other way around. This area here subtracted from that big area up there. There's 2.25 more square units here than there are down here. So that's it. That's what Desmos can do. I've defined a function up here. I've defined the operation here uh, of the integral. The system offers to add two sliders, which I'm going to use in a moment just to show you something else. 
and the system allows me to shade certain areas so that you can actually see what's going on. I'm just now going to move the slider value down and you can see what's actually happening there as I move the sliders. Okay, different areas are being picked up by the shading. Okay, in this case, the function here, these are values that are greater than the function, but which are less than zero up here. These are values which are less than the function, are greater than zero. And by moving these sliders around, you can see how the area under the curve between the two limits actually disappears. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much.